Hey guys, welcome to the movie review. Today we're doing Barbarian. This is a fucking crazy movie that we're gonna get into, talk about it, have a lot of fun with this. What do I, general thoughts, first of all, so you can get just, I liked it, it was not 100% what I was expecting, but I enjoyed it. It was definitely really weird, really like, what the fuck? Because it's more five, like, what the fuck? I couldn't kind of expect certain parts, because you don't expect certain things that happen, and you're like, oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. And I like it. So there's this girl who goes, he gets like an Airbnb or that rents this place out, a little house, and it's like, okay, so he rents this whole house, and there's like nobody else around this, like this house is like the only house on the street. But she so gets to the house, ring on the doorbell, there's other, there's this other guy there. She so goes in, and they kind of figure out like what's going on, because they both book the same place. They figure it out, and they go and start to talk, have a conversation, they're both nice people. And then they go in and figure out what's going on. And then they find, and then eventually the girl is there for a job, saying so goes to the job. And there's some like kind of creepy stuff where doors opening, and the one guy's making noise at night. And he goes to check on her and stuff. And then they find out about this thing in the basement, pull it open. Uh oh, the secret rooms and all this shit. And then they find out there's another secret room, what goes even down farther into this big cave thing. And that's where the thing is, the monster. Where we find out what it is, it's like, oh shit, that's not what I was expecting it to be. It was a monster, but it didn't exactly show what. But it, it's good. Like I think it's good. I think that's. That's all I can say. Um, also, Justin Long is in the movie. He comes in later. He's an interesting actor. And I'm like, um, he was good as well. That's all I can say without spoiling anything. Because everything else goes in the spoiler territory. So, let's jump into spoiler territory. So, warning. Spoiler warning right now. Because uh, to talk about the rest of it, I have to go into spoilers. Because I don't know what counts as spoilers at the point. So, the girl goes down into the place. And the other guy goes down there too. Uh, I think the other guy, he goes down there first. And he checks everything. And then the guy comes home and it's like, What's going on? Da, da, da. It's like, there's this uh, thing, don't let the door close. Uh, the door closes, if it, the door closes to the basement, they get stuck down there. And eventually he comes and they go down there and eventually he gets attacked. The guy basically dies. The guy goes down there and dies. The girl goes out and eventually gets caught. Somebody's trying to help him and stuff. And and then they don't believe him obviously because it makes no sense. But he goes down there to kind of save him. Went, Good on you, because he was a nice guy, and I feel like he didn't deserve to, he didn't deserve to die. So any character who doesn't deserve to die, I'm like, yeah, go and kind of save him. Because I feel like, he's like, if it's a character who does not deserve to die, I feel like going to save him is the kind of, it's like a lot of people like, that's stupid. Yes, but if he really was like, didn't feel like a bad guy, like he doesn't feel like he deserved it, I'd be like, going to save him, I do kind of like that. Because like, yeah, the guy didn't deserve it, so I feel like you kind of save him, help him, make sense in that kind of way. Because like, if it was a bad guy, or kind of didn't care about it, like, go oh, fuck that guy, I kind of thing, then it wouldn't have mattered. But we do care about him, so we will. He does die, so he's out of the picture, and it's just to go. And then we cut. The movie cuts. There's like a jump, because he goes down there, and then he gets attacked. Then it cuts to, I'm gonna explain what this thing is later, cause they kinda do it more a little later, explain what the actual monster is later. But we cut to a guy driving his car. And it feels like the movie just cut to a different m movie entirely. And it was like, uh, what the fuck? Why are we with Jason Long? What the fuck is he doing here? We had this big allegation thing against him. And then he's like, you left, and they're like, uh, you left the country? You left one state to go to another state? That's not a good look. And he's like, well, I have this property here. That's the property that I guess are staying at. And then it's like, I need to do sell it, do something to get some money. Cause I don't have money. That's going to happen. He was going to be on part of some type of show, a sitcom or something. And then that fell through because of all the allegations. And then he goes to the place, finds it, and then gets in and finds out there's a bunch of stuff here. Like, what? Why are there a bunch of people staying at my house? He eventually finds the, goes down to the cellar, into the thing, and finds the secret passageway and everything. And then he goes down there and then gets trapped. The monster comes, traps him, falls in, or he falls in with the girl to meet him and the girl. And then you find out what's going to, what's happening. And it's like, oh shit. Uh, but to figure out what happened, there's this giant monster thing. It's like a mother kind of thing, where it's like, why don't you like to suck on her? like breast I guess like breast milk stuff like a baby it's treating all these humans like babies and doing them and getting them to suck and it's, it's weird you see the girl suck on her so I'm like this is fucking ugly as shit this is a fucking wild movie and she's like another tits and like you know you get like milk out of them like from a baby because you see a little TV in a room with like baby stuff then we find out there's this other guy in the basement who's like the, I guess the husband or whatever crazy fucking shit happened and it does cut to the path where you see like a uh, husband go out get a bunch of stuff for babies and stuff so it's about them kind of it's, some, it's a crazy crazy shit but eventually jason long and her they basically get out of the place they out of the basement uh, the one guy eventually shoots himself i think the dad or the the husband like shoots himself and kills himself so either guy i'm like i'm not really cons i don't think you're a good guy so i'm not too complaining that you're dead but it does sound off the to the one person that you're there and they eventually get out her and Justin long and then 
they meet this guy, this homeless guy who's there, and he's like, you know, telling them all about what's, what happened, what the deal is with everything, and why, like, because all the other houses on the street are, like, run down and abandoned, and it's only that house, the only one that looks good, and yeah, so, after that, it gets to the one guy, the homeless guy dies, and then the other two, because the monster actually comes out, it comes out at night, it actually comes out at night, it goes after her, the girl, and Jason Long's character, and eventually, Jason Long just last thing where he, like, fucks up with the girl, like, being like, oh, I had to do it, I had to stop it, and eventually, he, Jason Long character that die, and he eventually does kill the, uh, thing, and, no, Jason Long puts his off, like, hey, go save your baby, because he creates them as a baby, so he puts it off, he jumps off to save him, and eventually, I think, he kills Jason Long, dies, eventually, yeah, because I'm like, yeah, we're kind of a dick, so I'm not gonna completely broke you out. You kind of a dick, but also, but it's also like in that circumstances, would you, would you not do the same thing? I don't know. But the girl gets out and gets the girl, so that's a lot of questions. I you could say that happened. Well, I'm like, okay, you left, right? You left. What about your car? Your phone, your computer. Do you have to buy new stuff afterwards? Like, are you like, okay, I just gotta buy a new car, I gotta buy all this new shit, or are you ready to go back and get it? There's stuff like that where I'm like, how does that work? I don't know, but I just thought about that. I'm like, yeah, how do you buy new cars and stuff? Do you, your wallet, all your, I just thought about that. I'm like, in a lot of horror movies, certain movies, I'm like, you lose all your shit. I'm like, what happens? You have to go get, after a horror movie, if the character lives, you have to go get all this shit again, you have to get new shit, you just go back and get it. I don't know. It's interesting. I guess it depends on the movie and the whole, what happens, but yeah, I just thought about that. And I thought it was interesting. But, quick other than me rambling on about random stuff, this is getting kind of long. What you guys think of Barbarian? Let me know in the comments down below where you saw this crazy movie. It was, I enjoyed it. It was really fun. Uh, but what do I rate this? I would give it like... I'm actually going to give it an axe out. It could definitely surprise me and did stuff I wasn't surprised with. So it's really good. So what do you guys think? Like I said, let me know. Yeah, I can always stay up and see the next video, guys. Bye.